I'm Jake and we're back with another Holland Built powered by Senkut Sen. Today we're starting a new series, Down and Dirty, where we're going to look at simple projects and manufacture a quick solution. So let's get into it. The first project, we're going to create this cover for this power supply. So I already went ahead and took all the measurements. So we want to have a top, sides, and we want to leave this open face and we're going to create two tabs on each side of it for mounting. So let's go right on into the CAD. We're going to create a rectangle. And so in this, we're going to make an aluminum mount. Um, so we have 5.5 um, and we have a 12 inch long box. I'm going to go ahead and increase this just slightly to give a little bit of clearance. We're going to say 5.625 at an eighth of an inch. And then we want to create a sheet metal part and um, we're going to create a flange. Um, with this, we're going to use 63 thou aluminum. And so we're going to go ahead and say, okay, so we can roll this up. We can see here we have the top of the part. Um, Fusion makes it easy. We can click on flanges and we're just gonna drag straight down here. And we have five and five eighths to have a little bit of clearance, so 5.625. We're gonna swing around, add another flange, 5.625. And we could have actually done this in one operation, but it's always good to see it a couple times, 5.625. So now we have that shape, we have that open front panel and we need to create a slot in this for this handle on the top. So let's go ahead and create another sketch on the top. We're gonna to create a slot. We're gonna create a center slot so we can select right on the center, go straight out. We're looking at five inches on center. Its diameter is 0.3125, so we're gonna just make that 0.350 and we're good to go there. Let's do an extrusion. We're just gonna pull it straight through. There we go. So now we have room for the slot on top um, where this handle is gonna come through. We have all three of our sides with the open one. The last thing you need to do is create a little tab on here. We're gonna make a quarter inch hole for mounting. So we're gonna go back to sheet metal, flange. We're gonna create a flange. We're gonna make this one inch. And then what we're gonna do is instead of having a full edge, we're gonna have two offset. And, oh, sorry, not two offset. This one, two sides. There we go. We're gonna just make a one inch size tab right in the center here. So half an inch on each side, click okay. And then I'm gonna make, um, actually we drew this on center. So I'm gonna go ahead and mirror that tab to the other side. Actually, after, we'll go ahead and put a hole in it and we'll round those edges. We're gonna draw a line really quick across this way. The center of this line is gonna be the center of that tab. We'll make this a 0.255 hole. This is gonna be a clearance hole for a quarter inch. Change this over to a construction. And we're gonna extrude this. I typically just kind of pull my stuff through unless I'm really caring about depth, especially with the full through holes. Let's add some rounding in the corners here and make it look a little bit more cosmetic. That looks nice and good. Now what we're gonna do is mirror this back across. So we're gonna do features. We're gonna select all of our features here that we want to mirror across. And our mirror plane, we can see it pop back up. Click OK. So now tab on both sides, slot, we're ready to go. Let's add a couple more rounding edges right here and right here just to soften up these so they're not sharp. And we are good to go. Let's go ahead and create a flat pattern. We're gonna go back to sheet metal, flat pattern, we'll select our top face, click OK. Bam does all the work for us. All we need to do now is export our DXF, take it to Senkut Sen's website, drop it in, and go ahead and quote this and get it ordered.
First thing we're gonna do, drag and drop our DXF straight onto the website. It's gonna go ahead and load up. All right, um, we're gonna go ahead and verify the units. Um, 24.81 by 11, that sounds right, so we didn't upload weird millimeters or anything. We're gonna click next. First thing, we're gonna pick our material. This one we wanna do aluminum, 5052, since we're bending this part. And then we did 63 thou material. So we're gonna go click next. Here's the, um, the coolest part of this entire process is we're gonna add bending. So we're gonna click on add bending. You can see here straight off of um, our DXF that we just created, these bend lines are gonna come through. These, as we go down this list, it's also highlighting which one's which. Um, we have a 3D view, so we can kind of see it pop up. So this one right here, 90 degrees down, right? So we can see it went the wrong way. So let's go ahead and flip this to down. It flips it on the 3D preview. We can keep working through our different bends. So we can kind of click on our bends too. Um, sometimes easier to do this in the 2D and then look at it in our 3D. So this one highlights, this one's gonna be down also, since we just had to flip that one. And our last one here is this one right here is 90 down. And when we're looking at this, when we're looking at down, we're looking at, at folding down away from us or it's folding up towards us, right? And so that's the kind of the way that we can picture that. So as I flip those down, we can see this kind of pop up. Looks just like what we just did on Fusion. Let's make these 90 up and 90 up. Now we have our tabs, we're good to go. We're gonna click add bending. Um, it, this would be the stage in which you could add whole operations if we wanted to anodize this or powder coat it. Um, we could also add this. We can see our pi pricing breakdowns. So um, immediately we can see one, if we go to two, we can start seeing that price breakdown drop down to like 22% on this instance um, and so on and so forth. For this one, we're only gonna do one. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to cart. So let's get this order manufactured and check fitment. And this is what I call a down and dirty design. For more information on bending, check out the links below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.